Hello again. Here we are ready to do the from the week two packet comprehension check number nine. Uh, we'll do what we've been doing. Go ahead and read it and then look at the questions. Kate has a canary named Chirpy. One day Kate's little brother opened Chirpy's cage but didn't close the door. Uh-oh. Chirpy got out and flew around the house. Everyone tried to catch Chirpy, especially Jax, the dog. Chirpy flew high and Chirpy flew low. No one was able to get Chirpy into his... Oh, sorry, was able to get Chirpy. Kate had a plan. She knew how to get Chirpy into his cage. Kate knew that Chirpy loves oranges. She sliced an orange and placed it at the bottom of Chirpy's cage. Chirpy flew right into his cage and ate the orange. Okay, so now we'll go over the questions. Remember, you can use crayons to underline it, or you can write the answers on the lines. So the first question is, how did Chirpy get out of his cage? So with the red crayon, find out how he got out and underline it. If you want, you can write it on the lines. Who has a plan to catch Chirpy? In orange, find it, underline it. If you want, write it on the lines. What does Kate do to catch Chirpy in yellow? So how does she go about catching Chirpy? We'll go ahead and underline it or write it on the line. How do you know Chirpy liked the orange? Find that information and underline it in green or write it on the line. And highlight and write three proper nouns from the story. And you can do that with blue, circle them, or you could highlight them. Now, we talked about in the last one that a noun is a person, a place, a thing, or an animal. Now, a proper noun is a specific person, a specific place, a specific thing, or a specific animal. So, for example, the word store is a noun because it's a place. But if I say Walmart, that's a specific place. Or if I say the girl or the teacher, but if I say Mrs. Olin or Sharon, those would be proper nouns because they are specific people. Okay? So do your best. Go ahead. Try to find three proper nouns in the story. You can circle them, highlight them, underline them, or write them on the line. And we'll come back in just a minute and go over the answers. So for right now, pause the video to do your work. Okay, here we are ready to go over the answers for comprehension check number nine. So the first question was, how did Chirpy get out of his cage? Well, we read that Kate's little brother opened Chirpy's cage, but he didn't close the door. Who had a plan to catch Chirpy? Well, down here it says, Kate has a plan. What does Kate do to catch Chirpy in yellow? So she sliced an orange and placed it at the bottom of Chirpy's cage. And she did that because she knew that Chirpy loved oranges. How do you know that Chirpy liked the orange? Well, he flew right into his cage and he ate it. So we know that he must like it. Highlight and write three proper nouns from the story. So remember, proper nouns are specific people, places, things, or animals. So we had Chirpy. Oh, and one other thing, I should have told you this before. One clue that it's a proper noun is that it is going to have a capital letter at the beginning of it. Should have told you that before. So here we've got Chirpy. Chirpy is a specific animal. We've got Jax. Jax is also a specific animal. And we have Kate, because that is a specific person. So here are your answers for comprehension check number nine. Great job, guys.